everyone, welcome to Kinda TV. I'm your host, your friendly neighborhood, Natasha. June is Pride Month for the LGBTQIA community and our allies, and I just wanted to wish all of you a very, very, very happy Pride Month slash Pride every day because everybody is unique and everybody should be proud of who they are. I just wanted to say that I hope you are safe and that you are happy and that you are proud of who you are. So for those of you who are fans of our channel, you probably know that we do a live episode on the first Wednesday of every month. Uh, but we're not doing it this month because by the time this video comes out, I will be smack dab in the middle of shooting the Carmilla movie. I'm really excited to be back playing my favorite broody lesbian vampire or ex-vampire. So sad that she's not a vampire. So instead, I'm doing this video for you, introducing uh, this month and letting you know what some of the changes are going to be this month while I'm away. The word pride means a million different things to millions of different people. I think it is so important for diverse members of our community to have a voice. So because I'm gonna be away this month, Kind of TV is running this very special campaign where each Wednesday for the month of June, we'll be having a special guest uh, from both the LGBTQ community and the YouTube community who will be sharing their story and what the word pride means to them. So for me, the word pride means freedom. It means the freedom to be whoever I want to be and to love whoever I want to love because Yes, although being queer is a really important part of my identity, who I choose to be intimate with in the bedroom or who I choose to date doesn't change the type of actor I am or person I am or worker I am or, or dog mother or sister or friend or daughter that I am. It's for me and my partners and I hope that all of you viewers also get to have the same kind of freedom someday if you don't already. I know a lot of you often ask me for my coming out story and that I don't always share a ton of personal information on this channel because I am just the host and it's not my personal channel. But I also don't share that a lot because I'm lucky. I don't really have a traditional coming out story. So I don't feel like I can give coming out advice to people because yes, I, I'm not strictly gay and, and also I, I had really open-minded parents and I came from a really open-minded place. I don't really have this harrowing tale, but what I thought I would do is to launch this month, uh, I could share a couple memories or like moments in my history where things started to sort of connect and, and some of my first sort of like queer experiences. So way back to childhood, uh, I never actually identified as straight ever once in my life. I remember helping my parents fill out the census and I'm pretty sure I checked the box unsure because I just never really knew. Uh, that being said, I wasn't exposed to gayness very much as a child. I mean, my parents were certainly open-minded, but they didn't really have a lot of gay friends and we weren't really taught in sex ed or in school what being gay meant. So I felt like I was conditioned to date boys for a long time um, because that's just the way things were. But I never remember being boy crazy, like I never really like wrote diaries about boys or had pictures of boys in my locker. Um, I definitely had crushes on boys, so I didn't really have a ton of like gay experiences until I went to high school. Um, I went to Wexford School for the Arts, which is a really awesome art school in Toronto, where it was actually cool to be gay, and I was in the music theater program, so everyone was very sexually fluid. Uh, so my first sort of experience was, um, I do remember going to like the movies with a girl who was known uh, to be a lesbian when I was about 16, and I told my parents that, and they knew that, um, and they were just sort of like, oh, cool, but I don't know if they like took it seriously, but I definitely like habitually had this habit of like dating straight girls or girls who would be like, this is what best friends do in the novels, right? Or like, you know, uh, oh, I've always wanted to cross this off my bucket list, so it was just like this perpetual like cycle of being like, oh man, can't I just like actually date a girl? But I do remember like the first time I kissed a girl, uh, like for realsies was one of my best friends that I definitely had a huge crush on for a long time. And it was my 18th birthday and I was having this like big party and she like pulled me in the bathroom and was like, oh, I wanna gossip with you. But then she was like, I think we should make out. And I was like, there was this like internal like screaming voice inside of me that was like, yes, like finally. And then like we did and I was like, this is amazing. I wanna do this all the time. I mean, and, and at the same time, like I, I do still like men and I'm really lucky that like all the men in my life have been super respectful and like hardcore feminists and um, and, and always like really accepting of my sexuality because I always made sure that like when I went on a first date, I'd be like, hey, by the way, uh, I am not straight. I also have this memory of the summer after first year university of just like 
walking through the gay village in Montreal and like being so frustrated that it was tailored more towards men and like the club scene because I was like, that's not me. And I didn't know what to do. And I was like, I just want to meet some like older queer women and I just want to hear their stories or like understand like how they came out. So I actually stumbled into this church that had this giant rainbow flag outside of it. And I realized I stumbled into what was actually an AA meeting that was uh, just coming out. Uh, but there were like all these older women there who like looked like stereotypical lesbians. And I just kind of like, was like, hi, um, I don't know, do you know if there are like any youth programs or like things around? And this one lady was like, oh no, I'm sorry, I don't, but like here's my number, like we can meet for coffee. And she told me the story about how uh, she ended up realizing she was bi, but she did currently have a girlfriend and she had actually like stumbled across some porn that made her realize that she was queer, which is like unfortunate that a lot of people have to learn about sex just through porn. And uh, which is why I'm such a supporter and advocate for youth movements and youth groups that are exposing like young people to different options that there's more than just this like heteronormative lifestyle and after that moment i decided to identify as bisexual because i felt like it fit better at the time even though i wasn't 100 percent comfortable using labels it was easier for me to start being able to like date women and come out of my shell more if i at least put some kind of title on it but then later i chose to like just go with the flow and not really label uh, my sexuality and it wasn't until i was cast as carmilla uh, where I realized that I could have a voice and I could be a leader and I could have an opportunity to, to chat with people uh, that I did sort of feel this pressure to put a label on, which is why I feel comfortable using the title queer now because I think it's sort of this umbrella term that encompasses everything. And the more trans friends I make and the more non-binary friends I make, the more I, I want to be inclusive of them. So I think that pansexual is a, a term that, that works for me because who's to say that I might not fall in love with a trans person or a non-binary person? I don't know, I might. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me, I, I just love people. And that's it, I don't, I don't really know if that's like a great coming out story. Um, those are some significant moments for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you appreciated it and I wish you a really happy Pride Month. Uh, we've got a ton of great guests and great videos lined up. So if you liked this, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. You can also leave me um, comments below. If you do have more questions, I will try to answer as many as I can or as many as I feel comfortable. And you'll always know that I'm replying to you on Kinda TV when it's signed with a dash and period. That's it. That's it. <laughs>